Hi everyone, this is Mohsen Tarek and today I'm going to discuss about the complete application procedure for University of Gabriel and NGO KTP Scala. First of all, you have to select the link of Scholar Superiore or from wherever you have learned about the PhD admission course. So that link will direct you to this page here. Just after reaching this page here, there are multiple PDF files where all the detailed information regarding the admissions, regarding the courses, regarding the PhD programs are available. I will recommend you everyone to read all these English documents before application procedure. So after you read everything, you find you are eligible to apply. This is the another link I have opened for you. Here it is mentioned that for the registration of enrollment process, please follow the following steps. In the same from using this link, you can start your application portal application procedure. So I have opened the link in another window. So this is the place where you have to apply for PhD positions in University of Gabriele Nunzio Chieti Piscara. So here they have mentioned everything. If you don't have speed, for sure you are not uh, living in Italy, you don't have speed. Or if you are living in Italy, you have speed, you can even uh, join with speed ID. But if you don't have any other um, online ID, so you have to go to the registration page. Here you can find English as well. So I have selected English and now I'm going on the registration page, web registrations. Here I have to mention each and everything. Let's say my name is Ahmed and family name is Ali. So I can put like it, Ahmed Ali. Let's say my date of birth is 1 1 Pakistan, male, male. I live in Mansara birth. This, this is the Italian ID number. We can generate it by simply the Kodisha Fiscale. I have already updated, uh, uploaded the video how we can generate it. So let me try with this code. So now it works. So they are asking me about the details, for example, country, Pakistan. The town entered was not found among those listed. Zip code, let's put locality, Sahara, ABC, street number 123, start date. You can mention any from when you started living here, let's suppose 2009 and July. Telephone number. Zero plus nine two three double zero one two three four five six and seven. Current address is the same as Perpnet. Yes. Go. Oh, the town entered was not found. Let's suppose I can write my name here. Mansehra again. Yes. Correspondence. They are saying, do we have to correspond to your permanent address or the current address? Both are the same. If so you have to mention this here. You have to write your email, international guiding code, international guiding code and mobile number. So after adding my information, so they have forwarded me to here payment methods with method you will be using for payments. Let's keep it like this. Choose password. Okay. I have to write the specific password for it. Now they have uh, generated my all the information here. Let I will say I'll go with this email address. My password is written here. Let's uh, log in. So I have generated my account. And for uh, here, I have got an email a username. They have already sent this to me on the email. Okay, so all these informations are stored here so what's the next process what we can do here is from here you can go to the home you can add your personal data your photo here you must upload your photo here if you want to change any of data you can change it okay let's suppose we are going to now international admission test reassessments and the pf 420 pf 24 registration admission test re-evaluation single course Specialization of support degrees, PhD course, master's course, all the information are here. You can try everyone, but we are going to apply for, let's say, PhD course. Come in. 
like engineering science, geoscience, psychology science, and social sciences. You have to select any of option. Let me check geosciences. Here we go. Come in. Like this is the course admission test. This is the date of admission test. Then we have this admission test. You must notice and keep in mind all the dates and the timings mentioned. On this date and time, you are going to have an admission test. So come in, confirm and continue. Beg to choose from scholarship funded by the university, reserved employees, post on fault. These are the projects now in this particular program. So you can apply, for example, scholarships. You have to check if you are if there are scholarships funded by the university or not. So you have to apply accordingly, select funded by the university, come in. Other programs are relevant to some projects. So you can also apply for them. I request the help for the performance of the test. Let me check. The disabled student can request the aid. If you are disabled, you can yes or no, come in. Okay, confirm and continue. Here you have to upload uh, all the degrees, all the information that if you are a foreign student or not, let's suppose I am a foreign title degree, I have a foreign title degree, so I have select this foreign title. So I have to put all the information here and then I have to proceed further. Achieved or not achieved, if it is an achieved nation, let's say Pakistan, oh, sorry, English. Pakistan University, you have to write the name of university, university title, bachelor of arts, like it's master of science, like university ABC, master of science, code of science, geophysics, date of achievement, let's say 12 of uh, uh, I have received 2012, let's say any date. Two thousand and six. So I have to select this year of achievement. It's the same. Two thousand six. Vote. These are the marks. I can upload. How you can uh, upload your uh, convert your marks from percentage or from GPA to this vote. So let's suppose I have got a one zero two marks, and then I have to proceed. Vote, uh, or you can either write your three point. Let's say five over four. It's like your GPA. So foreign title, automatically it will be the reserved seat abstract. So these are the things I have to upload now. Do you want to take the documents, qualifications to your application for admission? Yes, come in. Now here you have to upload all the information because I will stop here. And if you have any questions, you can comment me or ask me on Facebook or you can comment down in the YouTube video section. I will definitely reply. This was a simple procedure to apply. You have to upload all the information which is mentioned here. The abstract of degree thesis, CV, identity document, certificates of knowledge for foreign languages, list of publications, titles, declare documents. Do you, so you have to be careful regarding this certificate of knowledge of foreign English. Number of maximum is three. So. Uh, you can uh, upload masters and bachelor's certificates as well. Proficiency list of publications if you have. Identity document will be your passport. CV uh, is your resume or CV. Abstract of degree thesis. So these are the documents you have to upload here. So this was all today. And let me know if you need any information or help on this. Thank you.